Hey, greetings everyone, it's GleeCon, and I am back again, bringing you another episode of Lore of Warcraft. Thank you so much for tuning in. On the last episode of World of Warcraft, we read through the World of Warcraft official magazine, the first issue of the second volume, it's the fifth total issue, the final total issue. We read um, a kind of a review of how to how some people, especially ten years ago, used to make movies in game. Um, so you know you really have to take yourself back almost fifteen years ago to a time when YouTube was very new, when screen capturing your your playing was very very new, um, and there were people out there making something called machinimas, which I had never even heard of, but were essentially taking either screen captures using WoW Armory and stuff like that to uh, make movies or just record funny things that they were doing like single take uh, songs and stuff like that. So it was interesting, um, but also uh, interesting not just because they were doing it and I didn't know it existed, but because um, it was like a snapshot for a time where you People aren't doing it like that anymore. While they still might be making cool stuff, it's not like that. We've also been playing through World of Warcraft Classic through the Duskwood region. We took Erator and smashed a bunch of zombie heads. Last time he's really doing quite well as we continue to uncover the lore of that really cool zone. So stay a while and listen as we continue that. This time with Callie. If you notice in her offhand, she had a little skull. That was a quest item that was an option for one of the ones Erator finished on camera last time. She's probably about one of the only characters I would have that it would make sense for. I did drop three spirit to use it, but it gave her 50 armor and a 1% chance to basically shadow bolt anyone that hits her in combat. Uh, she did just level up, and when I was here, I noticed the missing diplomat quest. I don't remember if we've done that quest already, but it seems like the majority of that quest involves us running around uh, Stormwind and... Um, So a lot of duskwood things too. So I really think we can, we can, we can do a lot of this. Uh, I'm here because I was uh, leveling up. She, I gained a new rank of mind blast, uh, mind flay, which I I forgot to even use that lately. Psychic scream, and heal. So this little boy Thomas, an altar boy, is who's going to give us the quest. Excuse me, sir. Bishop DeLavey asked me to approach adventurers sir? that might be able to help him with a delicate matter. If you could quietly head to Stormwind Keep and speak to him at your earliest convenience, I'm sure he would appreciate your help. Again, please be discreet. It is a matter of some importance. Now, as that stands, I don't know yet whether or not this is a quest that we've completed. I, I really don't know what this whole chain entails. It seems like it's a pretty long chain. I just don't know yeah, what it's going to take, if it's something. But since it spends a lot of it in Duskwood as its main kind of area, I thought Erator and her could have complete it. I don't remember even seeing it for Erator, so maybe she did pieces of it. Um, I'd also have to say, based on the voiceover mod, that uh, one, that boy is, uh, he's certainly entered puberty. He has a hefty deepness to his voice. <laughs> Not what you typically would expect to hear from an altar boy. And two, Dude called me sir, um, so I don't know how to feel about that. Is that like a sir in the sense of how even in like Dragon Age Origins the you would call a knight sir, whether regardless regardless if they were man or woman? Maybe. Probably just doesn't have a ma'am. I don't know. Maybe it's just easier. Maybe that's like, well, we can call it a man or a woman, sir. So we'll just defeat default to that, even though Kelly is not really a knight. Um, so let's go find out what that's all about. While we're here, before we... Uh, the Great Father Winter is here as well. Cold Jingle Pocket. Um, we're not going to do that because that technically wouldn't have been available in the phase of launch that we're at. We may eventually get there. Um, but not not now. We're not going to spend our time on it as of right now. Stash chops. Before we leave, um, I'm going to also need 
to um, stop and, and take a peek at well, I guess I don't need to, but I'm, I, I kind of would like to take a peek at some tailoring because we're here. Hello, adventurer. I'm Bishop Delaney. No doubt if you're asking me about my business here in the Keep, then young Thomas has succeeded in requisitioning you to help our kingdom. He has always been adept at following my request. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have time to elaborate much, so allow me to be blunt. And please, try to keep this from becoming common knowledge. Recently, a diplomat was sent to Theramore to meet with Jaina Proudmore. That diplomat never arrived. I believe the Defias are involved in this plot, but I'm not sure how. The diplomat's disappearance still eludes public attention, but it can't remain that way for long. Agents of the King are already scouring the city for clues, but I have my own contacts I would like involved. In the Valley of Heroes is an old friend of mine named Jorgen. Find him. Give him this note. And follow his instruction. I can't remember if this is like tied to the dead mines or I truly don't remember where this is leading us if we've already done it. Maybe we did and you're like, geez. Geez, Gleecon, we already did this on an episode. I, I don't remember. Sounds like he gave us a letter. Jorgen, my fears have come true, and they have acted in ways I never thought capable. Never did I think they would get this close, but they have. Please help the bearer of this note and send them to him. In all honesty, I think he'll aid us because the seriousness of this matter. If it were any other threat, he would probably continue to ignore us and the problems of our fair city. Thank you, you old fisherman. I am indebted to you as always, your friend DeLavey. Now, I do think this guy is the same guy that we deal with in that quest where we're dealing with. No, it's not. This guy is, we call him an old fisherman. So he is really off to the intro, intro of the city. So um, this is an interesting... I don't really, they're being vague, uh, and this is not the first time... You just get sent running around Stormwind to talk to various people. Um, it would be a little bit less painful if we had a mount. So, uh, you know. For retail, perhaps you could give mounts earlier. Or um, not give these quests until after the level that mounts are available. Oh, wait. You get a mount, like, the second you wake up now in retail, pretty much. Um... It definitely takes some of the kind of mysterious allure off of having a mount. So, um, yeah, I think uh, the Christmas stuff, I, that's one of the earlier ones. I think it's one of the first holiday, if not the first holiday they add. It's just we're not there. So... We'll have to come back to that. I, I, I don't know. I'm still on the fence. Like, I kind of, sort of, vaguely, maybe, kind of remember doing this with someone. But then again, I also kind of don't. So, it's... Uh, you know, I was trying to think about how long have we been doing these quests. And I was like, I don't know. How long have we been playing World of Warcraft Classic? You need something? Hmm. You better have a good reason for your a man that's fishing. I don't take kindly to pillows. Little old bagels. Hmm. Help you, but not looks at us through squinted eyes. Because I'm obligated. And let's get one thing straight. You're knowing far more than you should to begin with. Let's keep this our little secret and don't go blabbing at any taverns about anything you find out. Understand? Take this here note to Ellie Trias. Don't say nothing else to him. Just be polite and wait for him to respond, and don't worry, he will. I'm gonna only impress this on you once more, adventurer. Treat this matter seriously and keep your yapper shut. You can find Trius at his cheese shop, Trias Cheese, in the Trade District. Good luck. I think this has got to be a Deadmines quest or something. It's a sealed note. We can't... I really... I really feel like this must be, uh... This must be the intro, and, and we have done it before. Now that I'm reading that piece, I feel like this is what leads us up to, um, the quest in the Deadmines that ultimately leads us to getting the, the ring that you get. Um, no, that's the Seal of Rin. We already have. 
I, I, I don't know. I just feel like we've run around between these people before, and either it's a coincidence that we've run around between them, or they're having us do it again, or I, I don't, I don't know. I'm still now having a sneaking suspicion that we've done this before. Very possible. What can I do for you? Hello, Kelly. Is there something I can do for you? Perhaps you'd like to try some of our special Trius cheddar or block of Donassian blue. I'm sorry. A letter for me. Well, I'll be not often. I'll, I'll be. You get a delivery that's not a crate or barrel when all you do is work. Let's see what this is about. I hear you, man. You look a little tense. You okay, adventurer? He looks up at you while he opens the letter. Jorgen, you old son of a. So that's how it's going we've, to be, huh? Done this. All right, I can deal with that. I hope he finds the twisting nether that much sooner. Here's what's going to happen, adventurer. I'll start using my contacts here, but you're doing most of the footwork, so I save some coin. Head to Darkshire and Duskwood and find Watcher Bacchus. He usually patrols the North Road right outside of town. Just tell him you're it's looking for a fire activity for me, and he'll help you out with any information he can. So this really makes me think it is related to that. Um, but whatever, we're gonna figure it out. Oh, I've been promoted to Centurion. 20 to 29 in this guild. Um, I, I, I guess I am level 20 to 29. Um, before we go hearthing back to Dustwood, Dusk, Duskwood, um, bunch of old reindeer riders out here. I'm going to, we're going to take a little detour. Uh, I know it's a little bit boring, but we, I'm going to play with some of the, uh, The enchanting maybe some, but really what we need is the tailoring. Let's do that first. I do think last time um, I got myself to a spot where I... What are we at on tailoring? I'm at 118. Um, Since that's the, the supplies, but this is the artisan tailor. Of this sort have uh, he will not talk to me. But Luke and Cordell and some of our butler. other tradesmen have been doing a fine job oh, okay. of filling our orders. So I'm going to make these bolts of linen cloth. Uh, actually, is there any reason why I should? Yeah, I can still make for three linen that. Two linen. So I've got some greens. There we go. I don't have the leather for that. Um, that's wool. Okay. So, yeah, I would say it looks as though I can make this cape. So the linen cape is still green, so I will go ahead and bust some of that still. And then, of course, we have a bunch of wool and stuff. And, um, yeah, we can sell some of this. I'm just really not that worried. Flintstone Vitamins is the name of the uh, <laughs> guild. Hardy har, har har. All right, we can also make some wool cloth things. Um, I think you have to be at 125 to learn the next to learn expert. Um, and I don't know if we can even afford it because I'm eh, maybe let's we'll see how much that costs. I might not be able to afford it. Maybe if I sell off some stuff. But yeah, we're making. Pretty decent amount of bolts. She, I know we have to get to 125 to be able to start working with silk, which is what's starting to pour in with some of the quests that we're on. So again, we don't want to get bottlenecked. We want that to happen. Um, uh, enchanting, I'm not as worried about. We should hopefully get some stuff, but I don't really super duper care. Okay, so now let's look and see where we're at. I don't think um, there's any other... City of Stormwind. Okay, I can only make three of these, so. All right, let's go ahead and make them all. This is just, these are just back capes, so eleven, nothing special. Can I get lucky and get a level? That's what I'm really hoping is. Can we get lucky and get a level? And we did not. So we, I don't even know that we made hardly any money at all, um, and that is what it is. So now we're going to go ahead and look at what we can do with wool. So that's four wool. Three, five, three. Um, 
four and four. All right, so three, I think the shoulders is probably the cheapest. Yeah. Well, a fine thread and four bleach. Four bleach is 88. So this is actually cheaper than that. Barely by two, but I don't remember what sells for more. I kind of think we did the calculus on this. I keep saying that, the calculations on this. Um, I guess. Yeah, so we're not going to really actually get anywhere. Because... Um, I, I picked four, but I probably shouldn't have. Um, probably could sell that wooden slot. Because now what's going to happen here, I'm going to get to 120. Yeah, well, it actually kept going. Okay, good. And um, I don't think there's any new recipes until you get to 125. This is my point here. Okay, I can make one more. Um, all right, so we're a pinch off. We basically need a pinch more wool. Uh, yeah, so that kind of puts an end to that. I can sell that. Oh, wait a minute. Buy that back. I want to be able to disenchant that thing. I'm going to go ahead and sell that bag. I don't, because I don't care. I just don't care, man. I hear them doing some some tailoring. All right, so that's it. We can't. Yeah, if you talk to him now, he'll probably still be like, oh, you'll need more training. You need more knowledge. Share my knowledge with you, I'm afraid. Fine, bro. Um, we can go to the outskirts here and, and mess with some enchanting as well. I do see we have some things. I can do a two-handed weapon, minor impact, but I don't have a two-handed weapon. Um, yeah, it just doesn't exist for me. Um, we're going to at least get the hearth back to that. So that that's greater magic essence. Um, but the greater magic wand is even better for that. Since so, the fall of Dalaran and the destruction of Quel'Thalas, um, wares of this sort have been hard to for come by. Good money. But Luke and Cordell and some of our other trades. So I'm using it on that. I'd rather I'd rather have the money. I do need the rune silver rod, um, and it's going to take a little bit of time for us to get higher level, but we are getting close to that spot where that's what we need. There's not really a lot we can do about it. I think the strange dust, even though it seems like we have a lot, I think that will back up. Now, these sell for what they sell for. Um, what kind of is a bummer is I don't have a 200 weapon. So... Um, if I did, I could do this minor impact on a two-handed weapon. Oh, you know what? I probably could enchant my fishing pole. Can't use that. No? Why not? Um, I guess not. And I don't have a two-handed weapon um, to enchant otherwise. So I could have three more points. Um, get to 105, will know his limitations, which there are some things you, there, your skills exceed mine. but I whatever. If I find, uh, if I find a two-handed weapon well in the meantime, with good reason. cool. Okay, so I cleared out a little bit. We're close. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hearth back to Darkshire now, and we'll continue the journeys uh, that we left off with last time. So what, what we were really doing was mostly just killing zombies. Um, and we're sort of moving on to the next phase of the story now. Uh, now, the missing diplomat is somewhere close by. Maybe right up. I don't know where that's at. It is Watcher Bacchus. So maybe that's outside. So we'll have to look and see if I get any kind of. Where's he at? Does he appear like on the road? Oh, he does. He trolls this road. I really feel like we've done this. Like, I'm getting deja vu. Okay, then while we're out and about, let's put some buffs on ourselves. While we're out and about, um, next thing that we need is... Well, we need the Legend of Stalvin, which... Where was that? Lion's Pride Inn. Oh, and Goldshire. 
Okay, so we've got to actually walk up there anyway. What can I do for you? Not too safe to be traveling about in the woods, Kelly. Be careful. And if you see anything suspicious or dangerous, contact the watchers immediately. Don't try to take anything on yourself. We're not responsible for anything terrible that might happen to you. But we both know you're going to ignore me and fight whatever comes out of the darkness anyway, don't we? <laughs> yeah, your adventure types. All the same. Oh, Tria sent you, huh? That's a little different. Feel free to fight whatever monstrosities come at you from I the really darkness. Feel like we did this. I'm sure you'll be able to handle it pretty easily if you're the type to be hanging around with the likes of him. So, what does my friend need of me on such a gloomy day as this? I don't know. Maya's activity? We're really beating around the bush. Always some activity. Even if they keep to themselves, we consider them a threat. But now that I think about it, there was a recent sighting that seemed odd. It must have been a couple weeks ago, but some of their agents had gathered around Adel's stead. From the report, I'd guessed something big went down. Why don't you check there first? And bring me back anything you find. The farmstead is south of the road from Westfall, just as you enter Duskwood. Alright, so we've picked up another spot. It's right there. Now, I don't freaking know if we've done it or not now. Um, who the heck knows? So that's something else we can pick up. It's level 30. Now, we do have to continue the Stalvin thing. The Tear of Taloa. Should we get that piece while, we were, while we're right here? Why not? Um, we'll just try to smash it in and out as quick as we can because we don't need these zombies anymore. These snombies. But it's inside this house right here. There's really not a lot of... Well, it's not in the house. Okay. That spell isn't ready yet. All right, so these guys don't really run. Oh man, they already put rot on me. These are the same things we were fighting in the um, little thing on the ground. I don't know that I want to waste a whole other shadow. What do you call it? Yeah, I could do another mind blast. Oh, he's resisting. Don't resist me, bro. There's the tier of Jinloa. So it's gonna sit in our bags for a little while. Really not too bad, unless it like spawns a billion guys. Let's go ahead and cast this. Yeah, this is more expensive. It's 150 mana. Oh, man. You're a jerk. What about Toby? Mr. Zombie. Okay, it's just sitting in the middle of this field. Is it particular? Is it a part of the reason why there's zombies around here? Oh, it's a flower. All right, so that's a part of a two-part quest that we have. The second part of the Tier of Taloa is in Duskwood. So she will have to... Maybe we'll do that, like... I mean, the wetlands, not Duskwood. It's in the wetlands. So she can maybe do that, like, at the end. I actually think part of this quest line that I'm on right now is going to send us... The end of it's going to send us to Menethil. So this one that we just picked up with the missing diplomat... So we have some pieces with that, but right now we're going to do the Stalvin thing because we got to walk up and over to Goldshire. Um, so let's continue that part of the story also, and then on the way back we can kill some of these werewolves. Because why not? Um, so we're kind of getting to business now, finally, with the actual questing. Um, and I, I don't remember now if we've done the Missing Diplomat. I truly don't. Um, but we're doing it now. And what? No, I don't think she nor Erator do I actually have on docket to go to the wetlands. No, the only person that's going to actually quest out all those is Millie. So our mage will eventually do that. Is there anything in this river? Probably not. And Callie doesn't do anything to get her hands dirty in terms of the jobs. She'll. She does do the. Oh, we have a level nine. Little nine Murloc. Okay, so we are. We need to walk over to Goldshire now. Our Hearthstone is not going to be done on cooldown.
Uh, this is the quest that's we we went over to Moonbrook for in West Westfall, and we went into the a, like destroyed house, and we opened it up, and we got you know it's all based on a book or something that we found, or uh, a registry or something. You know what? Oh, the watchful eye. This book right here, I mean this tower, is where we'll go to work on our enchanting, but we're not quite there yet. And I do really look forward to, oh, she can do the hallowed letter. Why is it saying that that's available? She started in this zone, so I don't understand why she wouldn't have completed it. It's just weird. She, it says encroaching knolls. Um, oh, she, she didn't quest in. Uh, she did a couple things over in, in Red Ridge, but that wasn't her real zone. So there's that. She did do Westfall. Yeah, and then she did Stone Talon. Um, she's been down here also. Whoops, I forgot to silence the old phone. My bad. Pipe Man. The pipe. Oh, so it's been... Uh, I'm glad that it is Friday. It has been a week. And... Um, I need to reboot. I'll tell you that my gas tank is empty. Uh, I'm normally, I normally try to be super patient and accommodating as a person. And, um, I just felt myself getting very frustrated with a lot of the people that work at my company where, um, work at my place of business. Just, it was tough. Um, it was very hard for me to bite my tongue. And um, I try to get myself, you know, in the mindset where everyone's only concerned, really, for the most part, with their own job, myself included, and the things they need to happen. And uh, um, when those don't dovetail or when those contradict directly what other people are trying to get done you're trying to use people for certain things use resources for certain things and come into odds and um it just can lead to frustration look at all these christmas lights out here tis the season all right so dude innkeeper farley talk, tell me about the Welcome legend my inn weary traveler what can i do for you the legend i want to know about it stalvin sure sounds familiar the name Stalvan rings a bell. I remember now, many years back on a stormy night, a messenger came in, seeking refuge for the night. Near the stroke of midnight, the man ran down the stairs screaming, his face pale with fear. Still wearing his bedclothes, he disappeared into the downpour. In his haste, he forgot his letters in the chest upstairs. He never returned for them. One remains from that Stalvan fellow, intended for the canal district in Stormwind. Uh. Help yourself to it. So upstairs there is a letter for a Stalvin fellow in Stormwind. Great, we should have done this first. Here it is, a storage chest with the legend of Stalvin uh, undelivered letter inside. Poo poo ka -choo. All right, so I don't know if we can read it or not, but now where are we going? Are we going to Stormwind? We sure as shoot are, because why would we not go where we just were? At least it's not that far of a walk over from here to Stormwind. We can do it. And let's see if we can kind of read other people's mail on the way. Sup, everyone. I'm saying, what's up, dog? <laughs> I'm trying to, like... I'm like putting myself as the punchline of a joke. <laughs> um, all right, so an undelivered letter. It says it's weathered and old, and this letter was never delivered. Dear noble sir, word of your need for a tutor for your children has traveled to me here in Goldshire, where I take up temporary residence in the Lion's Pride Inn. Due to the unfortunate state of events in the region, I was forced to abandon my post as headmaster of the Moonbrook Schoolhouse. Please accept my application to serve as tutor for your offspring. 
Headmaster Krillian of the Academy can speak to you of my abilities if necessary. I shall travel to meet you in person when the winter rains subside and the roads are suitable for travel once again. Until then, Stalvin Mismantle of Silver Pine. So, Mismantle, there goes, I think, the Mismantle Manor or something like that. Is that in Duskwood? I feel like, yeah, Manor Mismantle is right here. So this is where it's coming from. We know eventually it's got to have something to do with that, which is where we just picked up the tier of Tuloa from. So somehow there's a connection there, but let's go turn in this letter and see. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. And we can at least fly back. We can't hearth back, but our journey will be slightly shorter. Not that this is super duper far, but we can spend a few silver uh, and, you know, go in style by flying back to Duskshire, Duskwood, Darkshire. You know, you know the place. The great spooky ookie. These people. These people. All right. Yeah, I joined a guild with her when I was off camera. Last time, uh, called Eternus Militarum, which I'm guessing is like Latin for Eternal Military. Although I never studied Latin, not one lick of it. Did my Christmas shopping. I did my Christmas shopping a while ago, but I need to do some wrapping. Now, tomorrow... Tomorrow is going to be a day where I try to get some of that done. Most of the time, my wife and I usually actually have fun. We'll make a night or two out of it. Um, we have a, a, a kind of a tradition where um, we will spend some time together and wrap the kids' presents in one to two nights. Can I help you? What have you got there? Let me take a look at that. You've got some nerve bringing this here. My father was the caretaker of the estate long before I was. He had to mop the blood up after the massacre, but that's neither here nor there. The last funds of the Flint Ridge Trust have dried up. Now the last of the family possessions are headed for auction. Blame the tax vultures. I guess if you're really itching to learn more, you're free to look through this junk. Who knows what you might find? Oh, so this is literally the junk behind him. Because they're, they're broke now. You slowly slide the lid of the crate off. Inside the crate you find there she is again. Various family... Various musty heirlooms, a family portrait, a few hunting trophies, and some old books. Near the bottom underneath the ceramic face you uncover a torn journal page. And she says... Not the legend of Stalvin Rez! Hey girl. So again, this forlorn spirit has come again and cursed us again. I can't believe I can't cure curses. Um, so great, where do we turn this in? Now we're gonna go back to Duskwood. So now for 10 minutes, all my attributes are reduced to good. And the second time you get this freaking curse. So something about, for some reason, a Banshee keeps appearing, which makes me think for some reason, Unless it's just because of the character model that elves are involved, because banshees are the spirit of dead night elves. So they want my legend they want the legend to rest. Let the legend of Stalvin rest. And then she curses me like a bung and uh you know is happy that she did so, I guess. I don't know. I want to go ahead and put, yeah, I've put posted things. Oh, let's read the torn journal page. Only the bottom half of this journal page remains. Giles, the boy, seems a bit rambunctious and will be, I think, Farmer Giles, Farmer Giles, uh, and will be a challenge to educate. However, the elder daughter, Tiloa, seems exceptionally smart. And the tear of Tiloa is the name of the flower that we had to get for the noble brew. Quest. Um, so there's obviously a connection there. 
that's got to be something to do with the estate. And Farmer Giles, I feel like, is also something from this game, Farmer Giles. Uh, she seems exceptionally smart. I couldn't help but notice her captivating beauty as well. Paths that you can't Brief. find on foot, they'll get you there fast and maybe We're show you something about a child. at the same time. She is on the cusp of womanhood now. Supposedly, the Lord has arranged her marriage for next year, but I digress. This week, I will accompany the family to their summer cottage near the East Vale logging camp in Elwyn, close to the Red Ridge Mountains. I hope to write more while there. Crap. I just realized they don't want me going to Duskwood. They want me going there to the logging camp. That's where we're following this journey. I guess flying to Darkshire still puts us a little closer. This is quite the little journey here. Um, uh, yeah, so I still think we will probably save ultimate time between... This is going to be faster coming, landing here and walking up because it's right up past the fork. That's still going to be faster than having left Stormwind and then walking all the way down this road to there because that's a little bit of a hike. So I think, because this zone's actually like zoomed in a little bit more on the map, so this is actually closer. Um, now what's the point of this noble brew? Because now that we're seeing this connection, um, Lord Wishok is causing quite a stir. He's made aware of a little arrangement down here. So this is like the weird people, I guess. And lobbying for full investigation. I have a plan to keep him preoccupied, but I need your help. There's a flower growing in the Garden of Stalvin. And we need musquash root. Okay, so yeah. She'll do the, the musquash root part yeah. after. Yeah, we actually... This is probably better that we don't go running off to kill the werewolves yet. Because they are at a level of us. These shadow weavers. And we now are cursed for seven more minutes. Although we might refresh that stupid curse. I just don't understand why, as a priest, you can't cure everything. There's no ability. Yeah, cure disease. Um, yeah, there's not. What about this disc? Dispel magic doesn't do it. Yep. Maybe eventually shh, we'll gain something like that. But all right, so. Let's find out. He accompanied this family that he is now tutoring because that's what he eventually said is he signed on for a tutor because his, he was a teacher in Moonbrook. That didn't work. Um, and so he signed up as a tutor. Apparently he was accepted on the job and he didn't like the boy and he's like being a pedophile toward the girl. So like a sexual predator. Um, so we're going to find out what happens with that. Does that blossom, like most good sexual predator stories, into a love and happy marriage? Um, <laughs> or uh, is something sinister afoot here? My guess is the latter, based on the state of the Stalvin estate and the fact that um, the Tear of Taloa is the name of a flower that you can find in the rotted garden of that place. Um, I don't think it's Tears of Joy that those flowers are named after for that young girl on the cusp of womanhood that is just so captivatingly beautiful. Thanks, bro. For really um, pushing the boundaries of... of uh, I mean, now... Don't get me wrong, I don't think this game should be all fart jokes. I'm not saying they shouldn't include more mature, disturbing, adult, um, you know, topics than this. I can't believe I never got this place on my map exposed. I actually kind of like the idea of us uh, including some darker material. Um, but it's still gross. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't think it, I, I, not, not, it doesn't all have to be digging through poop for keys or whatever. Which, that's one of the kind of cool things about Classic is um, that this stuff exists. I don't think they push the envelope as 
much anymore. And not that, don't kid, they shouldn't kid themselves. Who the hell cares? There's no kids uh, rolling out of middle school and playing this game unless their parents play it, in which case their parents are cool, I'm sure, with them playing. Thought, our friend. What have you got there? I cannot see. My eyesight is very bad. This is Marshall Haggard. Put it in my hands. <laughs> I can barely make out those letters, but that writing style reminds me of something I once saw before my vision became so poor. Yeah? There was a bundle of parchments in the chest upstairs when I moved into this place. This is quite a shame. I looked at them once when I first arrived, but I gave up once the fog hazed over my peepers. Oh, yeah. Do an old... Was it that day? ...line man a favor and check the chest upstairs for anything that might help you in your quest to discover more about this Stalvin character. I'm pretty sure there's a faded journal page that might be of interest to you. Bring it to me, and I'll help in any way I can. Sure thing, Pops. Alrighty, so, um, that's what we're... Oh, we're gonna bring it back to him. So he's got another chest. Look, these people just have these chests. Stalvin's legacy has just these chests everywhere. Okay, we got another faded journal page. And here she is. Now she's getting pissed. Toil not in the matters of the past, Kenny! Don't talk to me. Do not. Well, you know what I like is that she's not because maybe because I'm already cursed, she's not refreshing the curse on me. I like ye. Um, all right, let's see what this new journal page says. I don't know why. It says, "Most strange and uncontrollable feeling. Never have I felt the way I did today. Whilst assisting Giles with his history lesson, Tiloa was outside tending to the flower garden." After a few minutes, she came inside and placed a scarlet begonia in my open palm and smiled at me in such a way that my heart felt as though it was trembling within my chest. Weird. All right. Be with you. Did you find that page I mentioned, Kelly? You found it. I did. I know of someone who might be able to assist you. Back when I was leading the Stormwind Guard, we used to get drinks at the Scarlet Raven Tavern in Darkshire. The innkeeper there, Smits, was quite an expert on the local lore. Show him this page and see what he has to say about it. All right, so we've now come full circle, and we are uh, going back to still the same journal page. Uh, it just says, although most of the text is long faded, some words can still be read. Um, so we are now heading back to Darkshire. I feel like we probably could have cut out, I don't know, 20 steps in this quest line just by asking around town and in Duskwood first, like, hey, does anybody know anything about Stalvin? Anything at all? Do you remember? You know, the manor that's like literally uh, one house over from the town? Um, anybody just, you know, happen to remember anything? Uh, anything spooky? You know, pedophilia? Stranger? Someone named Stalvin? Um, so, yeah, my detective work is not... Uh, just a little bit lacking, but at least they're sending us on lore. I can't complain about that. I'm just, pl I mean, I'm just playing. Ultimately, I, I actually think it's cool that they're sending us to these different places that we're getting lore. This is not a bad class line. I'm just goofing around, so don't let my, don't make it seem like I'm just uh, one, I, I, <laughs> one of those people that are like, yeah, let me just um, complain about every dang thing I see because of whatever reason. I'm, I'm not. I, I'm just fooling. I like the game. I like this. Super fun. Um. Yeah. So the tradition of myself and my wife is uh, on Christmas. Uh, we normally do it, most of it on Christmas Eve. Sometimes we we'll start a little bit earlier. But I will wrap presents. But I will say. Um, uh, it's and I don't know. It's I think it's silly. I'm sure if I really spent a lot of time and learned, but I've wrapped a lot of. I wrap all my wife's presents every year. Um, I'm, and it's not hand-eye coordination. I don't know what it is, but I, I, in my current state, without more practice, without more training or something, I suck at it. Uh, and I hate to say that because it's not like this mystical art. But my presents look like crap when I wrap them, and hers look really good. Um, so normally, what we will do is we'll we'll spend the time together so that she's just not doing this chore for hours by herself on Christmas Eve. 
I'll drink some eggnog or some wine or whatever. And um, I will we re pick a book and I will read it out loud to her for hours. Um, we read over the past two to three Christmases we read and we literally would only read the book at Christmas and just pick up where we left off the next Christmas. We read uh, Cloud Atlas, is that what it's called? Something about Cloud, like the one where they made it into a movie and it was, look at these revelers, um, Mario and Luigi revelers. Like where the, about, I don't know, some different, I saw a bunch of stories put into one. It had Tom Hanks, I think, in the movie. Greetings. Marshall Haggard sent you. Why didn't you say so? Ah, good old Haggard. Old chap is going to be completely blind before long. Anyway, let me see what you've got there. By the light. You bet I recognize that handwriting. Really? I followed the legend of that Stalvin character for years. When those visiting nobles were slaughtered a few years back, I went with Haggard to investigate. I found these muddy pages, but we were never able to link the handwriting to that crazy man in the woods. Your trail of evidence proves his guilt. Take this to Commander Ebonlock immediately and fill her in on what you've discovered. The thick, through thick blood, a few words remain legible. Although some pages are covered in mud, some can still be read. Let's read what it says. Most certain that she shares the same feelings for me now, of course. She even placed her hand on mine this morning. When she smiles, her eyes light up like glittering diamonds. Unspoken words pass between us. I can feel her in my pounding heart and heated veins. Anger and fury, the likes of which I never knew existed. How dare she? Oh, this is like later on in the book. As I was instructing Giles in the meaning of numbers, Tiloa appears before me with a suitor, holding hands in public nonetheless. What an uncouth young man. Rather than introduce me properly, Tiloa simply said, Oh, that's just my tutor, Uncle Stalvin. He's a nice old man. Old? At that word, my cheeks flushed with heat. I am but a few years older, and yet she betrays. Hey there. Mm. Farewell. It's better be a good priest. Let me see what you have and tell me your tale. But by the light, be quick about it. Darkshire's defense is my number one priority. I have not the time to squander on dead in leads. My, you have proved yourself to be quite a detective adventurer. I have had my eye on that creep, Stalvin, for quite some time. But if this page was written by the same hand, it proves his guilt beyond a shadow of a doubt. In all his days keeping the town registry, Clerk Daltrey has become an expert at identifying handwriting. Okay. Show him this page and see if the writing matches that of the registry signature. All right, so um, it says a downward spiral of despair. First, she mocks me and now she's engaged. The ungracious charlatan was pretending to love when truly she desired to hurt me all along. A black void lurks within me now and it grows with each waking moment. The blood I shall spill pales in comparison to the tears I have shed. Sounds like a song. How there. are you? A creepy song. Murder song. Back again, Kevin. What do you have this time? Why, yes, the writing on this page does in fact match that of the registry signatures. Let Commander Ebonlock know immediately that the handwriting matched Adventurer. Her suspicions were correct. Okay. What can I do for you? I knew it. Fine work, Adventurer. Stalvin Mistmantle led a life of depravity. Innocent victims died by his hand. Undoubtedly, he is guilty of countless crimes. Now the lunatic threatens Darkshire. The Light only knows what sordid acts he is plotting. Travel to his cottage just north of town, adventurer, and execute mm. Stalvin once and for all. When the deed is done, travel to Madame Eva's and show her his family ring. After all, it was her premonition that led to this gruesome discovery. But Darkshire is safer because of her. None of these are great. All right, so they want us... Oh, that's a level 35. Uh, so we're not going to do that yet. At least it's not a um, legendary or whatever. Or, I mean, not legendary. Elite. All right, so I think... Let's kill six Shadow Weavers. I, we might as well get uh, some killing in this... Uh, series but interesting quest line a lot of running around um to ultimately task us with going and killing a dude probably like as a, that's i guess street justice we're gonna give him uh we feel like he probably murdered one or more children and uh so yeah so we're gonna bring him street justice by 
we're gonna kill him myself. I don't know why the guard couldn't come with us, at least give us like one guard to help out, but whatevs. Let's see if these Shadow Weaver guys are even immune to Shadow. Yeah, well, they're not immor immune to Shadow Word Pain. Oh, crap. That's still recharging. I'm gonna go ahead and... Now I've got a few moments only to kill this person. He's back. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so he brought a second. That's really unfortunate for me. A second more. Oh, no. Oh, gee. Uh, okay. Thanks. Ah, oh, bro. got a second one, um, but at least now we've kind of got things a little bit under control more. He's resisting my stupid one. I don't like that. And I gotta kind of save my mana for defense and life. Yeah, my shield's still up. That's good. Now it's down. All right, so we did pull off a second kill. I'll take it. Now that's one. F okay. So, oh, that's renew. Dang it! I should probably not use that. All right. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that was a nice crit. I like it. Um, man, is running a little low already. Not a ton to do about that. We could drink some juice. That will refresh my armor soon. This is actually pretty good. They don't seem to run, so... Gotta refresh that. Alright, so that was a dark runner. We don't need those. We need dark... We need shadow weavers. That's... One right there. So I don't know if they were stealth, if I was just dumb. I don't know. All right, so let's pop a couple more. I think it is good when... Um, we don't need the Dark Runners, I don't think. I mean, they're gonna hit me with a Shadow Bolt. That's their goal here. Yeah, they got me on that one. You got me. All right, so we've got three down. Only, you only we only have to kill six. So. Dark runner. That's just a regular worgen. Dark runner. Dark runner. I just don't want to get myself surrounded. You know how it goes. There's one. There's one too. So that's all. We just don't want to get ourselves like we did last time. It was pretty close to uh, bad sitch. Um. Almost 10, 20, 30, 40, almost halfway. Okay. Alright, he'll die on that. Two to go. This is really is not a big deal when it comes to um what we have available here. Bunch of dark runners. They've got a pack of them over there. We don't want anything to do with that. Alright, uh, this is only killing six things. It's pretty easy. Okay, we're getting kind of low. How much is that? That's a 10 minute cooldown. We don't want that. Lesser heal is. I guess flash heal is probably the best. We got a sharp claw we don't need. We need one more. All of those are dark runners. Yikes. So we just need one more night weaver. Night weaver, night weaver. Another dark runner. Woohoo. 
Okay. Um, well, they're coming for me now, so... These things, these Dark Runners are a little... Resistant to magic, dang it. Go all out, since I can't even find one. Okay. Yeah, we're getting to one and a half second. I think I was at one second, but it went up one and a half seconds. So there's, you'd have to, we could probably insta-cast like level one. Um, there we go. Okay. Let me go ahead and refresh that. So we have the last Night Weaver thing that I need. I don't. That's Night Bane working. Yeah, why would why is why would they be called Night Bane? Uh oh, there's a Night Bane. We don't want that. Yeah, freaking coming at me. I knew it. I knew it. He was getting too close. So this is the weakest. They're the generic ones. I don't know what the deal is with them. Also, why are they the Bane of the Night? I don't. I don't get it. It's okay. It's all XP. And, and copper, I guess. So we got the Worgen in the Woods done. Um, that's really it between all the running around we did on the um, on the Tears of Uloa. Picking that piece up. Um, the Stalvin mystery thing. Uh, the missing diplomat. Should pick up another one. So all these various things really um, just made us do a lot of investigating. It was interesting from a lore perspective, I guess. But yeah, this was all been running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it wasn't like we weren't doing any, anything and we got to keep getting little story beats from step to step but it was definitely uh because we're, we're right at the end of our episode this has taken us all so we did get one quick kill six um this will be pretty easy for me i think to catch up off camera um so at least there's that nothing too challenging Impressive adventurer, it would seem that you are capable enough to handle yourself. Perhaps a more suitable challenge could be found for one of your abilities. It is curious, though. The worgen seem to just appear out of thin air. But then, with all the other strange creatures that have moved across our borders, I suppose it's only one of many concerns. You might have noticed some larger worgen wandering around. With now the they want the dark runners. Woods. From what we can tell, these dark runners make up the bulk Twice of the worgen yeah. numbers. On my rangings, I've also noticed that they have overrun the rotting orchard southwest of town. These worgen are a bit tougher than the last you faced. Be on your guard. Right, so... They, they're they in the same area. There's tons of them. Um, but now we also have this. We've got these skeletons to kill. Um, we do need to kill more Ladim if we end up seeing him, but... Uh, We've got to kill the skeletons as well. But for now, I think we're good. That's it. We we put a little dent in the werewolves and we and we did a lot of more investigation. So we have another episode in the pipe, five by five. Yes, it is funny, isn't it, Reveler? And uh, thank you everybody for watching and for listening. And I will see you all next time on Lore of Warcraft.